All right, so we're going to label a uh, simple phase diagram here, okay? Now, we should know uh, what these sections are, right? It's a solid, liquid, and gas. And so they say, which point uh, marks the highest temperature and pressure in which it's possible to determine whether a sample of pure X is a solid or a liquid? So here's temperature, here's pressure, okay? So that point is going to be here. Why is that? Well, let's label this again. This is solid. This is liquid. This is gas, right? So this line here is the coexistence boundary, right? It separates the solid and liquid phases. So it says the highest temperature and pressure at which it's possible to determine whether a sample is a liquid or a gas. That's the difference between these two phases. So it tracks this line. But right here, uh, we can't go beyond this point, okay? So the point would be C. And what we call that, what we call C is the supercritical point, supercritical temperature or pressure, okay? The next one says, in which region are the temperatures and pressures at which it's possible to change the phase of X by raising or lowering the temperature? Well, if I'm looking around, one region sticks out to me very clearly, and that is E. Why? If I raise the temperature, I can phase change from liquid to gas. If I lower the temperature, I can phase change from liquid to solid. So by raising or lowering the temperature, I can phase change to from liquid to gas or from liquid to solid. The last one here is which line must the temperature and pressure have crossed if a solid sample of X is observed to sublime? What is sublimation? Sublimation is exactly what dry ice does. Okay, sublimation is going directly from solid to gas. Okay, that's sublimation, solid to gas. So if I go from solid to gas, which boundary or which line must it cross? This line, B? No, that's going from solid to liquid. What about D? No, that's going from liquid to gas. It would have to cross this line, G. Okay, it had to go from solid to gas. And so the answer here is G. And that's exactly what dry ice does. So under atmospheric pressure, that's 1 atm. If you look at the phase diagram for uh, dry ice, or carbon dioxide, you'll notice that it, there is no liquid state, no, no liquid phase around 1 atm, it's straight from solid to gas. It looks kind of like this, and atmospheric pressure is here. So dry ice just sublimes. It goes straight from solid to gas. It doesn't even melt to liquid. All you have to do is get it cold enough.